Hi, ladies, it's Duna here. Thanks so much for joining me today for our prenatal restorative yoga class. It'll be about 20 minute yoga class. So you will need your two blocks, maybe a strap, doesn't hurt to have it. And then obviously you could always grab your blanket or your bolsters. So we're gonna slow it down today. Just get a nice stretch, a lot of releasing through the neck the lower back, our hips, anywhere you're feeling tension, this is a great, great class for you. And whether you're in your first trimester, second, or third, you're all welcome. All right, ladies. So we're gonna get started in a lying position. I want you to grab just one block before you lie down, and then just place it next to your side. Good. So you could either keep your feet grounded so that the lower back stays flat. And if you don't have any lower back issues going on, I invite you to just drop your legs down. Then you're gonna feel a slight C curve in your lower back, which is totally fine. Just make sure you don't feel any tension. You could always place bolsters or a blanket underneath your knees here as well. And then just open your palms to face up, relax the shoulders, close your eyes and take a few rounds of breath here. If you like to, you could place one hand on your belly, the other on your heart. Maybe you feel your heartbeat or maybe you feel your baby move. And if you're in your third trimester, you don't feel comfortable lying on your back, you can always lie on your side. Couple more rounds of breath here. Try to create that audible noise constricting the back of your throat. Good. And then on your next inhale, go ahead and plant your feet down. Walk your feet as wide as your mat. Either cactus or tee out your arms and drop your legs to your right. Stack your right knee on top of the left thigh. And get, turn your gaze over to the left. Make sure to keep your right foot flexed. Don't force your knees to go down, but you're just actively pressing the right ankle on top of left thigh. Gentle hip opener here. Really good if you've been sitting all day long, especially during these shelter at home. We tend to sit a lot more than usual. Good. Release your right foot. Bring your knees back to center. Same thing on the other side. We're going to hold for five breaths there. In our restorative class, I like to keep my eyes closed to stay present in the moment. If that feels good for you, I invite you to join me. You can always dim the lights in your room, put on your essential oil. Remember, this time is just for you, you and your baby. Good. Release your left foot, come back to center, bring your knees to center. From here, you're going to walk your feet towards each other about hip width. Walk your hands towards your heels. And then on your inhale, you're going to lift your hips. Grab your block or bolster, blanket, whatever feels good. Play around with a different height of the block and place your block right on top of your tailbone. So it's going to be that bony area right underneath the lower back. Good. You're just going to keep your hips elevated, getting the blood flow into your heart. You can always keep your feet hip width, knees separated. Otherwise, I like to find a slight internal rotation through my hips, getting that stretch into the front hip flexors. If that doesn't feel good for you. Butterfly legs always feels nice. Getting more into the groins and the inner thighs. Good. 
From here, plant your feet about hip width. Stretch your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Drop your left leg down. You should feel a nice, gentle stretch into your right hamstrings. You could pulse it out a little bit. Keep your right foot flexed. You can make some circles with that right leg. So any of you ladies have restless leg syndrome? Well, at least for me, that's probably my biggest complaint during this during my pregnancy. So during before I sleep, I like to bring my legs up the wall. Get the blood flow in. It helps. So just try this at home at night. If you have problems with that. Good. You're going to drop your right foot. Stretch your left leg high, and then drop your right leg down. Okay, you can pulse it out for a nice calf and hamstring stretch. You should also feel a stretch in your right hip flexor, your psoas area, especially if you've been sitting a lot. Yeah, you can make some circles with that left leg. Good. Now you're going to bring both legs all the way against the wall. So this is what I was talking about earlier with Restless leg syndrome. I usually do this against a wall for support without a block. It's a nice way to just relax your legs. Awesome. All right. Bend your knees. Lift your hips. Release a block to the side. Good. Hug your knees into your chest. For me, it's going to be the outer chest. You can rock side to side. Grab behind your thighs. And you're going to come all the way up to seated position. Feel free to sit on your bolster, your pluck, whatever feels good. Okay, so actually I'm going to go ahead and face this way. Keeping your legs crisscrossed, whether it's from your ankle or your shin bones, that's okay. Just make sure both sit bones are grounded. Walk your hands forward. Again, depending how far along you are, you want to always keep space for your belly. So only fold as deep as you can go. You always want to hinge from the low, the hips, keeping your lower back lengthen. So for me, since I am in my third trimester, I don't like to go too deep, or else it doesn't feel good. We wanna, we don't wanna compress too much. It's hard to breathe too, so we always want to create space. So if you notice me, my chest is lifted. I still feel that nice stretch into the glutes, into the hips. The breath should always be long. Good. You can walk your hands over to the right. Keep your shoulders squared. You might have to drop that left shoulder down a little bit. Now walk over to the left. Get into the side body on the right side. Good. Come back to center. Go ahead and slowly rise. Plant your feet about hip width. From here, walk your hands back. Fingertips points towards your hips, and as you inhale, open your chest, straighten your arms. Find that nice thoracic extension by drawing the shoulder blades towards each other. And lift your shoulder blades up into your chest for that nice chest expansion. Inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly release. I want you to cross the opposite ankle on top. Okay. And the same thing here, shimmy out any goodness out of your sit bones. And then let's take another forward fold. Always hinge from your hips. Feel free to create a dynamic movement by inhaling, lifting your chest. And as you exhale, hinge from your hips. Or feel free to take a static hold. Good. 
Let's walk your hands over to the left first this time. Get more into that right side body. And walk your hands over to the right. Keep your shoulders squared. Left sit bone stays grounded. Good. Come back to center. All right. You're going to walk your hands behind you again. Fingers points towards your hips. Plant your feet. This time, feel free to take second set of chest expansion. Otherwise, keep that chest expansion, then lift your hips up to reverse tabletop. Lift your hips in line with your knees. Holding here and breathing. Strengthening and stretching into the wrist, forearms, shoulders. Last breath. And then slowly release. Awesome. Good. Go and stretch your legs forward. I want you to grab a block. Bring your feet either hip width or as wide as your mat. Again, depending how far along you are, place a block between your legs. You're going to have to probably readjust it. See, if you could forward fold, place your palms on top of the block, and then just rest your forehead there. Okay, so make sure less compression in your stomach. So you're still lengthening, opening up through the front and the back side of your body. All 10 toes point straight up. Let the shoulders melt down your back, away from your ears. Feel free to bend your knees or grab another block. Always modify, readjust as needed. Check back with your breathing so it stays long and steady. Breathing. If you're still closing your eyes. Stay there. Relax your jaw. Good, slowly rise. Bend your right knee, hook your right foot into your left inner thigh. Slightly twist over to the left and fold over your left leg. Only fold as deep as you can go without crunching into the front side of your body. Find that length and space. So widening through your ribs. Opening up through your collarbones. Good. Slowly rise. Bend your left knee behind you and take a gentle seated twist over to the right. Left hand on top of right thigh. Peel your right shoulder back. Again, only twist as deep as you can go. If it doesn't feel good, always skip it. Come back to center. Straighten out both legs. Bend your left knee, left foot into your right inner thigh, and fold over your right leg. Inhale, sitting up tall, and then exhale, seated separate, forehead to knee stretch. So you'll notice my back is still finding length rather than rounding. is too much for your hamstrings always bend your knee good slowly rise bend your right knee behind you gentle twist over to the left awesome come back to center Let's go ahead and drop down all the way onto our backs. But before you do so, grab the second block. You can have your bolster or blanket in handy if you don't have the blocks. And then make sure they're easily accessible for you once you're on your back. 
Happy baby pose. Stomp your feet up towards the ceiling. Stack your ankles over knees. Make sure to drop your tailbone down or back down. Either stay here, otherwise, reach it out the right way. Get more into your inner thighs, your hamstrings. Sure, do the other side. Shoulders away from the ears. Coming back to your breathing. And then an option to always straighten out both legs. Still lower back is grounded. Bring the soles of your feet to touch for Supta Bada. Feel free to press your knees away from your chest with your elbows. Let your lower back ground down. Good. Release your feet and let's take a gentle twist to the left. So you can keep your feet planted, hip width, and then drop your knees to the left. Other side. Come back to center. All right, so for our Shavasana, you're gonna place one block underneath your shoulder blades towards the upper back. And then a second block underneath your head. And then play around with how high you want these blocks to be. You can make the one underneath your head a little higher. But if you feel pretty open, you can lower that and make your chest open even more. Cactus or tee out your arms. Open up the front pecs. Close your eyes. Let your legs relax. Take a deep inhale and a big exhale. <sighs> Ladies, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any feedbacks, any comments below, any recommendations, please comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Namaste.